Those that have power over your husband, your wife, your children, or somebody else. You need Holy Ghost for personal power over your own flesh. Your flesh, look at somebody. So your flesh is your own enemy. People are not your enemy. Y'all better say it. <laughs> Listen. People are not your enemy. It's the devil that used people to your enemy. He used people like God used people. That's why you got to have the Holy Ghost. And the worst enemy you got is yourself when you brush your teeth this morning, you're looking at your enemy. Your flesh ain't your friend. Y'all do know that. Your own flesh is an ally to the devil. That's why without the Holy Ghost, everything the devil will tell you to do, you do it. Oh, come on now. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, before I got saved, every time the devil said go to the club, I was first one in the door. Every time he said, I want a bud, I popped one and gave one. <laughs> I'm too honest with y'all. I wasn't born saved. A lot of folks viewing us on YouTube, too, they come out of the womb speaking in tongues. Them people you can't help. God can't help them kind of people. Because they was born saved. They did the perfect as Jesus was. But I was born in sin like the Bible said. I was shaped in iniquity like the Bible said. I needed the Holy Ghost like the apostles that wrote the Bible. They had to have, I needed that same Holy Ghost. And the whole world need the Holy Ghost. If you evaluate your own life and not somebody else, if you will take a good, do a quick inventory of our own life, you'll find out it takes all the time you got to maintain yourself. Uh, my God, it takes every minute of the day to keep yourself straight. Uh, my God, because you can do bad by yourself. Uh, you don't need nobody with you to do bad. Uh, you don't need nobody with you to sin. Uh, my God. That's why Jesus said you shall receive power. When that old flesh want to act up, when your flesh want to carry you down the road, you got something on the inside that's greater than him on the outside that will speak to you and say, I'm holding the rain. Walk with me, my child. You got something on the inside that'll bubble up in your spirit. And I can't explain it. But it'll give you joy. It'll give you peace. Acts 
237. Look what the Bible said. Now when they heard this, now you notice, there was 120 at Pentecost, right? In the upper room. Mary was there. Jesus' mother. And the other Mary was there. And all the other people. And they all was witnesses of this sermon. When Peter preached. And the people in verse 37 said, Man, when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart. And said unto Peter and the rest of the apostles, all of all 12 apostles, all of them were standing there. Peter and the rest of them. Me and his brethren, what shall we do? Thank you, Jesus. Then Peter said unto them, Repent, turn from sin. Uh -huh. Be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sin. That's to get rid of your sins. And then he said, that's going to produce something. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And the Bible lets us know that 3,000 souls went down in Jesus' name. And was added to the church. Filled with the Holy Ghost. And Peter said in verse 40, And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. People better stop worrying about mama and daddy and uncle and aunt and sister and brother. You better save yourself. You don't know where death is. You don't know when you're leaving this earth. You better save yourself. You better have the Holy Ghost. You're not going to die on the group plan. Death is used to wait. Let me go get my husband. If any such thing like that, he'll tell you, I ain't going with you, honey. Uh -huh. 